South Central Update, brought to you by TaylorMade. Fresh off that breakthrough victory in Colorado, pleased to be joined by the most recent champion of the Colorado Women's Open, Jennifer Cupcho. Always good to see you, Jennifer. Congratulations on that first win as a professional. What did it mean to you to finally break through in your home state with family and friends watching? Thank you. Um, it was amazing. It was awesome to be back home and staying with my family and uh, seeing them again. And uh, just being able to win that first professional event um, in Colorado in front of people that I know and have always supported me through the years, it was really exciting. You had been a runner-up in the Colorado Women's Open on two previous occasions. What were the emotions like on that final day as you looked to break through and realized it had been maybe a while since you had played competitive golf? Yeah, it was definitely crazy the whole tournament just to uh, play and have nothing in the hole, just playing normal golf. Um, it was definitely really interesting and fun, um, but it was crazy coming down the last stretch of holes, the last four holes. I was just really nervous and shaking. So um, it's exciting to be able to get that first prof professional win out of the way. Um, so hopefully I can do it on the LPGA. Well, you've won an NCAA championship. You won the inaugural Augusta National Women's Amateur. But how does a win like this as a pro impact your approach when the LPGA resumes next month? You just sort of alluded to it. This maybe can open up the floodgates when you guys get things going in July. Yeah, I mean, I think you are nervous whenever you're uh, close to winning a tournament. But I think it helps to get those nerves back and um, – compete just after such a long break it's i'm excited to get back to the lpga and um, continue to feel those nerves and uh, anxiety over short putts what have the last few months been for you as we've all seen the world change dramatically jennifer of dealing with this downtime and uncertainty moving forward um i've kind of just been living the normal life that I always do. Um, I have been down in Arizona where it's pretty much open. Um, my golf course never shut down. So I kind of took a little bit of time off and just played rounds for fun, but started seriously practicing um, probably in the last month. What will be the most important thing for you when the LPGA tour resumes next month to sort of get back into the flow to have success in your second year out there what do you think the most critical approach uh, and aspect of your game will be moving forward i think to just go out there and have fun um we did get that announcement that uh our status will be the same so it's it'll be fun to just go out there and play and hopefully make some more money um and play out there without having to worry about what could happen next for the next year. Well, you've got a title under your belt as a professional. Some good money came along with that. Congratulations once again, Jennifer. Always good to catch up. Continued good health. And we look forward to seeing you back on the LPGA Tour next month. Thank you so much. Golf Central Update, brought to you by TaylorMade.